Hi, this is Brendan McLaughlin. This will be my practical experimentation, uh, much like my planning experimentation that I done just um, for me a couple weeks ago. I don't know how long it is due for you, UAL, but um, I basically, um, with my prat uh, planning technique, I basically, in my research, I looked at planning techniques and I actually just done them and worked out what was best for me. So, again, I'm going to be doing this with practical techniques. Um, so the first one I'll be looking at is audio bass effects, um, specifically looking at audacity, um, looking at audacity and audition. So just to preface why I'm doing this, um, why will I choose audio bass effects? Um, my film is very much audio based as talked about in my context, my planning, uh, really the whole kind of website. Music is a massive part of this. Um, music and rhythm is all about it. And one character, a big character, as I talked about a lot more in my planning and the kind of character breakdown is the character of the voice. Um, just to recap, briefly, the voice in the film will act as the antagonist and kind of the voice in the back of your head that kind of stops you from doing things and stuff like that and kind of pushes you to do things. And it's kind of that voice that kind of tears you out of your kind of depression and things like that. Um, so the voice will start off the film very much demonic. The idea is that it's kind of, kind of threatening and stuff like that. And it's kind of this outside force trying to pull the character out. But as the film goes on, uh, the voices are become much more human and much more kind of understanding of the character. And they kind of come form this bond in the end. And that's visually uh, audio represented by the voice coming much more um, normal. So basically the idea is that I'm going to use these programs to kind of achieve that voice effect. Um, the voice is a big part of the character basically because it's only been seen, it'll be seen for two scenes and maximum probably two minutes out um, overall. So the voice really carries the character. So um, basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using both Audacity and Audition. So what I'll do is I will record separate audio that is lines uh, directly from the film as I've written the script, as you know, from the planning section. Um, be, due to these being short lines, it's going to be pretty easy to, to record. And then I'll basically use, say, I'll go into all this, all that, as the sign. I will mess around with it and try and form that uh, demonic effect. I'll do the same with, um, sorry, audition. And then basically I'll come back, um, I'll go for pros, cons, for each one and I'll reach to a final conclusion. Just preface to say that I am recording this on different days. Um, so uh, I'm currently recording this on Wednesday. Um, I'm planning to do the experimentation Thursday, Friday, um, because how I work, it's kind of over two days. So it will probably be in a different place and stuff like that, this next clip where I basically go over the pros and cons of each of the programs. So let's get into the pros and cons of our audition and audacity. Okay, well I'm back from experimenting with both of the methods. Um, I experimented with Audition or Audacity. Well, first I'll be going over Audacity. Uh, just before we get into it, I will show you the baseline of where we started and the um, version of it I done on Audacity. So let's just show that. Stop. Stop. As you can see, I kind of went for that kind of demonic kind of um, very much very demonic kind of like this uh, big kind of a presence I was going for kind of very godly and stuff like that kind of very influenced by you know very much gods in films and stuff like that you know Conchu in the recent Moonlight has a very kind of alarming big voice and that's how that's kind of baseline where we're going to start and I mostly just use this opportunity to kind of mess around with the programs um, so to go over audition uh, how did I do that basically this is a simple effect called change tempo um, I basically mess around the tempo and then added a slight echo to it um, to the program. So as you can see here, uh, this is how I've done it. It's basically just a simple kind of voice baseline. So let's get going kind of into the pros and cons of using this method. I say the main pro of this method is that the settings, it's the settings are pretty user friendly. To be honest, um, it's pretty easy to use compared to say Audition. Uh, as you see, Audition's a bit more complicated world. Audacity's much more, very much straightforward um, with how it works and stuff like that. It's very much easier to kind of do it. Um, it's got a much easier preview feature that allows you to kind of preview what you're doing before you make any changes and stuff like that. Um, also, what I found from my research is that Audacity is used a lot more commonly among people. This basically means there's a lot more tutorials on how to do certain effects in um, Audacity compared to Audition. So this means that if I want to say do a demonic effect or something like that, it would mean that like I can easily do it in Audition 
compared to all that so compared to do of the Audacity compared to audition. But on the other side, I did find this program personally difficult to use. Um, I was using I spent about an hour I think an hour and a half trying to use it and stuff like that. Because the problem is it's just found very it's due to its raw kind of baseline, you know, thing it is kind of very buggy and weird to use. For example, if you like play the audio, it just keeps playing it back. Um, you can accidentally let's say accidentally you know, hover over something or something like that. It's very difficult to kind of add effects. Also, um, I did mess around a bit um, with the idea of using demonic sounds. Oh, I decided not to use that because I thought it would sound a bit too cliche and a bit too stupid. But when I was using two audio tracks, it got very complicated adding effects because you, how you highlight, you highlight it to add effects and it's very annoying. And talking about the effects, um, the more I kind of mess around with it is that, yeah, it's the main part of the program is that it's very much, um, it is very easy effects but the more you kind of mess around it especially once I said mess around audition I found that the effects were limiting and like everything about the kind of program was very kind of limited in the features it had you know you couldn't really add that many unique effects and stuff like that you know and the effects were kind of limited to what they could do compared to audition so I don't know if this is the best program to use it's kind of it's a good raw basic program and if I was just doing audio and simple audio I think it would work but I don't know if it works very well adding those effects and adding those different kind of effects that I'm looking for um, so that has been my review of Audacity we'll go on to Audition next Okay, so Audition, I will just show a click um, example of how, um, where we started and where we went with Audition. Stop. Stop. Okay, that was just a quick example of um, how I dealt with Audition. As you can see, I kind of thought the same kind of idea with the um, last one as Audacity, where I wanted to have it very demonic and stuff like that. And the main pro of Audition is that uh, it's got a lot of effects and the uh, compared to Audacity and the effects are kind of very kind of there is a lot more you can go really into detail so as you can see here um, for example reverb that's only one effect in um, Audacity but with Audition you've got uh, conversion reverb, full reverb, reverb, studio reverb, surround reverb and it really means that you can kind of mess around the effects a lot more and what I found over about an hour of an hour and a half just kind of messing around with it looking at tutorials just kind of you know as I talked about my research um, I did watch a lot of tutorials for this just like Audacity I rewatched those tutorials I kind of followed them along and stuff like that so I'm messing around them quite a bit and what I found was that um it's very much, there's a lot more effects and a lot more gravitas of what you can do. And I think that's important for this film because the voice is um, a big part of the film, but it's, it's mostly only the voice. So the voice has to be nailed on perfect. I think Audition can really do that with the sound effects. Whereas on the other side with Audition, compared to Audacity, it, due to it being so complex, it is such an annoying program to use. Uh, for example, you can't, it's very difficult to use with multiple audios and stuff like that. As you can see, the interface is very much it takes a lot to use and um, really work out. It does take that long amount of time compared to Audacity to work out, so that it's not as straightforward as Audacity. Um, it's very much more difficult to do basic things like cutting out foot audio is much more difficult. Um, messing around with it from left and right perspective is also difficult because Audacity, um, just get that up, as you can see, you can add two tracks easily. What well, if we go back to Audition, it's very much done difficult to work with two tracks. There might be a problem if I want to add demonic effects or work with different effects inside of the scene. Um, another problem with Audition is that it does take a while, a bit longer to export and stuff like that with audio compared to or, um, Audacity that's much more faster. Uh, I think it's just because it's like more effects and stuff like that. That can be a pain. Um, Especially if I'm on a tight crying crunch to get the kind of the audio effects done. Um, so overall, let's kind of get into the wrap up and kind of what I'm going to be using. Um, I think this is pretty obvious from how much I've talked about Audition, but I think Audition is the best program for me personally in this situation. Uh, mostly because Audition has a lot more effects, and I think like it just sounds better in my opinion. It sounds more, it's got more gravitas to it. What I was looking for. Um, you know, the pitch is higher, stuff like that. It allows you to kind of do more effects. And it kind of allows you to really 
get into the uh, the um, dirt of the effects but I will have to keep in mind that it does take a while to export so I'll have to make sure to leave a good a chunk of time to export I have to keep in mind that it's kind of very limiting with um, other audio sources so I probably won't be using multiple audio sources I plan, what I'm planning to do is to be shoot, filming this um, as I talked about way back in my planning um, I'll be using a um, Morantz to record this um, and others for using the clean kind of audio track files and I won't be using anything else with it um, but I will keep in mind Audacity is a good program I think if I was looking for just a normal kind of baseline program just kind of mess with more simple do more simple effects on I think Audacity would be a lot better and if I was mixing sounds so I was doing a music video I had to mix multiple sounds together I think Audacity is the better program but for what I want it for and that's adding demonic effects and really going for that demonic feel to it I feel like Audition is the best option. Um, so that has been my kind of review of both options. Um, I'm going with Audition because it's a cleaner option. Um, I've taken on both my, ex my own experimentation. I've looked at, in my research, as I took my research, I looked at both programs, done a lot of research into them, watched videos, I've watched multiple tutorials. Uh, one of the biggest tutorials being these demonic sound tutorial from Jack, it's just Alex Halford who does multiple tutorials on both Audacity and Audition about how to make demonic sounds, so it's obviously a big part of my film, um, and the voice, so um, that has been my... Um so that has been my experimentation into Audacity and Audition to create a demonic sound for the voice. <laughs>